it took a really long time they asked me a lot of questions they wanted to go through every stamp in my passport and I had to tell them this date I entered this country then that date I left it took a while and they wrote it down on a piece of paper so I'm not sure in the morning and welcome back to the channel I'm standing here uh, right next to a very very uh, noisy road over here this is the road and um, this is uh, where Alaska has been staying inside the hostel here it's really uh, nice that they let me park Alaska safely inside today is another border crossing I'm going to cross the border into Nicaragua today let's see how it goes um, I'll give you an update on what happened in the last two days and yeah let's go let's quickly go and then hopefully it's gonna be smooth and quick that's kind of the idea so I'm gonna get ready and then right to the border it's not super far it's like 40 50 kilometers something like that so uh, let's go <laughs> tranquilo tranquilo um, no sé. <laughs> Tengo que ver mi GPS. Sí. <laughs> Chao. <laughs> I have, uh, as you can see, I have acquired a new camera. I managed to find the only Hero 10 that they had for sale here in Liberia, in Costa Rica. So that's good, that's good, that's solved. Now I just uh, need to get to uh, the capital of Nicaragua to hopefully get my laptop uh, fixed. It should be all fine with the border. Uh, it was a bit of a, you know, a bit of a puzzle because I have to show a uh, PCR result. So I did a PCR test. I tested negative, but then, so you have to book the test in advance. Then they say you get the results within 24 or 48 hours. And then when you have the results, you have to email them to the Ministry of Health in Nicaragua. And within 24 hours before you enter. But then the test cannot be older than 72 hours. So <laughs> if you're unlucky and you have to wait 48 hours, then you're already, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't add up almost. It gets very, very tight. But luckily I had my results uh, quite quickly um, and it is a negative. So I already emailed to the Ministry of Health and they emailed back saying aprobado, which means approved. So, um, yeah, I think I followed all of the procedures correctly. So they can't say anything about that, hopefully. But uh, you never know how it goes, hey? Okay, I'm here. This is already the line of the trucks. You can see these cars are passing as well. They'll have a different uh, line for trucks and uh, Normal people. Oh, it's a lot of trucks. So I think I'm actually still quite far away from the border.
paso por solo con trámites de eh, la Hola. Hola. Una consulta. Perdón. Las aduanas. Eh. Ah, recto. Recto. Ahí va, ahí va la calle hasta que tope. Ok, ok, gracias. Still not here. I mean, that sign is only for trucks as well. that Nicaragua is completely out of goods because they're all sitting here Immigration. Okay, so immigration is here. That is good, but they don't do anything before I have to pay ten dollars tax. I don't know that uh, tourist tax or something. I have no idea. So I first need to find a place to pay that, and then they'll stamp me out. Hopefully. He said 50 meters back on the left. Oh, it starts raining. Here. Hola. Hola. Oh, yeah. Hola. Para cancelar mi... Para salir de la moto. Sí, sí. Ok, ya. Yeah. Gracias. Ok. Dos piece of cake. 
stemt out of Costa Rica. And he told me I'll do a customs is over on that side. So I'm gonna cancel the temporary import of Alaska now. Aduana. Here it is. No, wrong place. This is, I think, the aduana, the customs to get into Costa Rica. But to get out, you said 100 meters that way. Hola, uh, una consulta. Necesito cancelar mi importación temporal en aduana. Pero dónde está? Por acá. Sí. 200 metros a la derecha. Ok, gracias. Two meters back. Buenos días. Another step is done. I had to pay what would it be nine cents <laughs> for to have a copy made of my temporary import permit, and um, then they cancelled it. Had to wait a few minutes. That was it. So all going still very smooth, but that's usually the case when you're accessing a country. Getting in is always a bit different, but um, I got a little paper to show, so now I can uh, really cross the border into Nicaragua and then uh, deal with things on the Nicaragua side. Whoop, woo. Probably have to... Okay. Hola. Yeah, okay. Hola. Este? El otro grande. Yeah. Gracias. Okay. That was the last bit for Costa Rica, I think. This is Nicaragua already. Hola. Hola. Buenas. Gracias. ¿Voy por acá? Sí, Ya. Chao. Hola. Ahorita por la moto, yo. Comunicación allá. Tengo que. A, a, aquí. Para el importación temporal. Ah, exacto. Ya. Yeah. Su nombre, apellido, nacionalidad, nacionalidad. Donde dice nacionalidad, yeah. número de passport. De pasaporte. Sí. Aquí no. No, ahí no. Aquí solo dice aquí, aquí número de pasaporte aquí en este espacio. Okay, fill in the form. Buenos días. Voy a ya. Ya. Disculpe. Eh, 20 MP RZ. MP Sí. Sí. Serían 80 Córdobas o 2 dólares con 20 centavos. Ok. Y ahora. Ahora le da. Ahí al parqueo, vea. ¿eh? Donde están los otros, los otros carros, los, los coches, los otros carros. Ahí va a parquear porque tiene que hacer el trámite para, para salir. Not really sure what this was. 
some quarantine thing or something, I don't know. Now we're gonna go do immigration and customs. I have to go. Are they gonna clean me? No. <laughs> no idea. Anyway. Terminal de Pasajeros. That's where I need to be. Okay, so this took <laughs> surprisingly long. Uh, immigration is normally a really easy, quick step. But uh, this time around, it took a really long time. They asked me a lot of questions. First, they were worried whether I would have enough funds, if I could afford my stay in Nicaragua. And then they wanted to go through every stamp in my passport. And I had to tell them, this date I entered this country, then that date I left. And I can tell you, there's a lot of stamps in there. So, it took a while and they wrote it down on a piece of paper. So, I'm not sure. Then, this lady had to, had to find this lady. Because she was the only one who could sign the paper. Finally found her, she signed my paper. Oh, is this right? Yeah, I have no idea. Um, then I went to the police. They signed some other thing. So now I, I still need to do customs. I still need to do my temporary import. But I, I just don't know where. Must be here then. Sí, ya pasé este. Ya pasé migración y policía. Sí, entonces ahí mismo adentro en ventanilla de oh. el trámite de vehículo. Ah, ok. Ahí hay unas ventanillas, ahí diga que usted va a hacer el trámite del vehículo. Ah, ok, ok. Fue a buscar, gracias. Sí, gracias. Ok, so not here then. Some elsewhere. I have to get back to where I came from. A window, a window. It is too confusing. No sé dónde es. Tengo que hacer mi importación temporal, pero no puedo encontrar dónde es. Tengo que hacerlo. ¿Tú qué? Importación temporal por mi moto. Ah, es allá en la técnica, en el edificio azul. No, pero allá dicen no. Tengo que estar aquí. <laughs> no sé. Okay. I am almost there. I have my temporary import done. So I think everything is done. I just need a, a insurance. And uh, that's just a third party liability insurance. So it's not like a full on motorcycle insurance that you need to have. Um, See. Gracias. Ahí comprar el seguro de la moto. Sí, aquí, ¿no? Ya, claro. Gracias. Buenas. Hola. Seguro. Sí. Permítame el documento que le dio el inspector de aduana para elaborar. Sí, sí. Liga, Cambio, Colones, Córdoba. ¿Cuál es tu precio? A 50 por mil colones. Mil colones, 50. Sí. Así es, especial. All right. I put an insurance in this little blue house. <laughs> Classic, hey. And uh, I completed a dodgy money exchange, so I've got some uh, local monies. And I bought a local SIM card, had it activated, so I can make uh, local phone calls, get on the internet. So, not too shabby. 
It's now uh, quarter past 11, so it's not bad. It's not bad. The only thing that took really long was immigration, but other than that, pretty smooth. And uh, oh, saw some food there. I still didn't eat anything. Maybe it's time for some food <laughs> before I go anywhere. See what they're see if they're cooking. We immediately have a first meal in Nicaragua. How about that? What's cooking? Some chicken. It's a little restaurant. Oh, some chicken there. Hola, señora. Tengo hambre. <laughs> Gracias. Right, this is what we have. Uh, some uh, tortilla, some chicken and some salad. So I think that's a pretty good score for my first meal uh, of the day and my first meal in Nicaragua. So uh, let's uh, dig in here. Let's uh, do this then. Let's go to uh, Managua. It's uh, 150 kilometers, something like that. From here, so it's not so far. Don't worry, I'll, I'll come back south because now I'll be skipping quite some nice parts of Nicaragua. And uh, this country is also not so big, so Managua is already halfway <laughs> through the country. So I'll, I'll come back south again a little bit to uh, visit some interesting places, do some nice riding. But uh, first I need to do this. Oh, I completely forgot to say Welcome to Nicaragua! Another country! Oh, I'm super happy to, uh, to be here. Um, the only thing is that drones are strictly, strictly prohibited in Nicaragua. So that means there will not be any drone footage um, from this country. So just to keep that in mind. Other than that, I'm excited. And uh, yeah, let's go Nicaragua! this these checkpoints by the looks of it but then no police lunch break for the police here is Ramotas friends you're also cute and tiny I'm gonna park next to this KLR this is more Alaska size <laughs> okay I've just been to uh, this shop over here here in Managua the last shop they didn't do repairs they were only selling uh, new stuff uh, they told me it's part of their guarantee, but to really see what the problem is, they have to, uh, I don't know, open up the thing or something. They'll let me know in a few hours uh, what they can do, but they told me that uh, if they need to, uh, if it's something with the hardware, they'll have to order parts and that can take weeks. So obviously I, I can't go without my laptop for weeks, then I can't make any videos. So uh, I'll just wait what they say. Um, but um, yeah, if it's gonna take weeks, then uh, I'll still have to buy another laptop for the meantime. So yeah, let's see what happens. But fingers crossed, uh, they can just fix it today. Okay, I have a super good news. They managed to fix my laptop. <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Well, you obviously already knew this because the fact that you are watching this video means that uh, I, I managed to uh, get to editing again it's fixed it's fixed oh, i'm so happy um so yeah i'm, I'm gonna end this video now um, i have a lot of editing work to do and other computer work so i'm gonna do that and um yeah in the next video i'm gonna go back south a little bit and properly start exploring nicaragua um, i managed to get done here in the capital what i needed so now it's time to uh, Exploring Iraq. Oh, I'm 
so happy. So anyway, that was it for today. A bit of a different video, but hey, uh, that's part of the journey. I uh, still hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.